march it on down, march it on down, march it on down, march it on down, march it on down. Well, I'd hope so. I hope that unionism increases in the future. But I feel a trend, especially working a lot with young workers, that they don't feel find the need for unions and they're not getting involved in unions. Um, so I'm a little wary of what the future holds for unions. The group of people that are involved now that are in charge, they were there at the beginning. They have that fire from remembering what it was like to be ununionized. I see a real crisis in getting the young workers involved within the union today because um, once people start retiring, we don't have people filling those, those spots, then the union's going to lose that strength and that power. When I first started there, I really thought, well, the union doesn't affect me, whatever, I don't have to have anything to do with it, somebody else will look after that. In our union alone, we've got a lot of experience. Guys have been doing it a long time. You start to realize that these guys are going to be retiring soon. And if we don't get involved, the uh, younger generation that's starting out there, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. These guys have been through strikes, being laid off. They've seen the real tough times. I haven't seen the tough times yet at the mine. It's, I'm afraid it's coming. But I think it's more important nowadays for our younger people to get involved. We need younger workers to, to step up, really. I mean, baby boomers have held the torch and have ran with the torch. But one of these days, they're going to start retiring en masse. Their issue now is trying to find a way to unite the, the youth in, in a similar fashion, to excite their passion in a way that, that makes them want to be involved and stay involved. I would hope that we take the time, like as a union movement, to think about young workers and to try to get young workers involved in the union movement, in their workplaces, because that's the only way that it's going to happen, if you get them in passionate about their union. In order to have some job security, have some flexibility for so that you actually are able to, you have a life as well as a job. Unions help recognize that and I think that's important for young people. People are looking for jobs where they can make money now, you know, and that's sort of the, the, the mantra of probably my generation, like, where can I make money quick and do what I want to do? Well, you know, that, that's great, but when you can't fix your teeth and you can't fix your eyes and you can't, you know, take care of yourself and your family, then, you know, you have problems. We all just, you know, within this past year or so have uh, become involved in the union activity. It's brought us, you know, closer together and we've met a lot of new people. It's a good support system, so I do and we've learned We've learned some of our rights that we didn't even know that we could have or existed. they understand what the issues are. Our, our future is the most important thing. Uh, as being a, a, one of the youth in this, uh, in this line today, I see we need to uh, make sure that we have a solid groundwork for future, for future members as well. If I didn't have a union where I work, I would be happy to be getting $10 an hour and working probably 60 hours a week, no benefits, no pension, and they'd just be glad to work me until they could ship me out the door and bring somebody else in. I actually had an opportunity to work in a health district without, um, without union representation. I had a very brief um, employment in the States and it was very difficult to go in to negotiate independently on my own my work um, environment, my what I'm getting for holidays, what I'm getting for sick pay, what I'm getting for my wage. I think childcare is very important uh, for the union to help represent us. Well, just because it's something that I, I know that I want to do and I know these, these girls too also want to do one day and we just need to know that we have, have them behind us. Lots of young workers have young children, so if you can't afford to work and have a family, it's not going to work at all. The union has given us uh, the right to stand up for our jobs, the right to make our workplace secure. We have the idea that when we come to work every day, we're going to you know, have a job the next day. Yesterday we saw four members come in that uh, are on strike down in Moose Jaw right now. And they came in, they've been on the picket line for about a month, maybe a little more right now. And I never really knew what the term solidarity, I always, before I worked at the mine, before I was in a union, I was, ah, whatever, that's just union talk. They come in yesterday and right away guys started jumping up, I want to donate this, I want to donate that. By the time they walked out of the room, 
they had $25,000. Help these people put food on their tables while they're on strike. Show this company that they can't be pushed around. I think it's when they come out and they experience these, again, these conventions, that sort of thing, you actually find out that it is kind of fun. What the union movement could do for young people is try to engage the younger workforce. The union movement to reach their younger members and get them more involved is going to have to, and they've been doing some of this, they're going to have to increasingly use the internet and uh, social networking tools to access uh, their young members. In terms of communication with the union, uh, they actually do have a Facebook page. Uh, it's definitely a much more technological society than it was even when I started nursing. Get involved. Figure out what is going on in your community, in your neighborhood, in your workplace and become involved. Whether it's the environment or political action, I mean, those are all things that young workers um, are interested in. I think the core of a union is people, and I mean, those aren't just union issues, the environment, that's a person issue, everybody should be concerned about it, so I don't think it's a bad thing to raise more awareness for certain issues. I really like that, that the unions uh, are involved with, with other causes and with other people and, and with other unions. I mean, they've got a really, uh, uh, they've got the local, they've got the national, they've got the international uh, perspective. I think there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding about what unions exactly are or what they do do, so I uh, think it's good for people to just not have these ideas of what a union is and actually learn about it for themselves. Well, I think it's important for young people to know that that unions are here to help you. You're, you're going to pay dues and you're going to pay permit fees, but in the long run, it's, it's really going to help you out. and It's going to help out the industry. And it's going to make the quality of the work a lot better. I would really like to see a lot more encouragement, a lot more mentoring. I went to camp as a teenager, and that is what guided me in the direction of working in the labor movement. It's really sad to think about how many isms we have in the world, like sexism, racism, all those. Some of them are good isms, like, you know, some of them you love a lot of them, like you know, unionism. About how to bargain for what yeah. for your rights. I really want to work in a union. I hope to work in a union one day. Absolutely, that's ex that's exactly. I want to be an activist in every way I possibly can. The message I would give to my union, I think, on behalf of youth in the workplace, is to listen. The new generation has lots of wonderful ideas. The future is ours, so if you want to change in the future, then you need to, to take the step and to get involved and to make those differences. We don't stand There's power In a union Now the lessons of the past Were all learned with workers' blood The mistakes of the pulses We must pay for From the cities to the farmland To the trenches full of mud War has been the boss's way, sir the union forever defending our rights Ow! down where the scabs pours all workers. Oh.